Ali here with Boston.com. We're sitting here with the man himself out here in Atlanta, Georgia. Tommy, what's going on, sir? How you feeling, bro? You good? Everything is good, man. Good to see you, man. You got, you got a lot going on right now. You got I'm doing what I do. Hip hop. You dropped a song, Sweet. It was like you was just calm and calm. Like, this is a. Uh, energized comment. Yeah. Like you was like ready for whatever with whoever. Yeah. You didn't say any names. It was like you just put it out like like I feel like hip hop is sweet right now. Tell us about that. Why? I mean I, why now? Well I mean for me it it was it really stemmed from me looking at like I looked at things and was like, man, this is how I feel about where hip hop, some of the hip hop, not all of it, but right, some right. of the hip hop is. Right. And point blank, the beat, honestly, when I heard that beat, it made me feel like that. Like, I get charged off of the music makes me feel certain things. Right, right. And when I heard that beat and it's saying, you look so sweet, I'm like, what's sweet to me? Like, well, some of these dudes out here, and it ain't, just, it ain't about just only singing. I ain't just saying not because you sing. Sweet is really like... The type of when you describe somebody being sweet, you say like they ain't real, they ain't authentic, they like, you know, they the type that better just sit up there and lie in your face and say something you fake with you. So, right, right. You know, but but that was you know, it was sold through the man, y'all singing and soft and that's part of what hip hop is. That song was really like, man, I'm standing up for what I feel hip hop is. I'm like, yo, this I'm I still feel hip hop should be some of the boom back too, some of the raw elements. Right, right. And then, you know, we know how the story played out. Yeah, yeah. You guys went back and forth, you dropped your uh he dropped his scheming track. We yeah. he uh said a couple things about you and then you dropped your scheming scheming track. How did you come back so fast with that? Did you have that already written or nah, just nah. like a No, I didn't have that written out. It was like I, I heard it's you know I got how'd, how'd you hear it? Did I got it. yo well, actually one of my guys I was in the barber shop, one of my guys like, yo, I heard some shots fired at you. I heard some shots fired at you. I'm like, what? And then I couldn't hear it for a minute. And then one of my guys played it for me. Uh -huh. And then I was like, uh, I was kind of just like, oh, all right, cool. So you were coming at me. So I got to I gotta let him know at least, yo, you just can't come at me. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not that guy. You ain't going to just come at me and I ain't going to say nothing. The, the ball is in his court right now. What do you expect Drake to do? I mean, what shit he do? <laughs> I mean, I can't tell that man what to do. You know, he's, he's a grown man. Right. And um, I mean, for me, what I what I'm doing is just basically I say what I had to say about. Right. I say what I said on the record, and you know, I'm leaving it at that. I'm leaving it at that. Like, yo, okay, this hip hop, you do you do you do a blow. I'm gonna throw you a couple. Pop, pop, pop. You know, right, like, right. You do a big blow. Though. Yeah. So I mean, I'm just leaving it at that. It ain't like you said. It's in his court. To choose what he chooses to do, but where does it end though? Where, where's the finale? Does he call you and say, Common, listen, I don't really want to put you like that? Or you got to see each other in person and then it's over? Or how does this thing end? I really can't. I really honestly don't know how things are end. You know, I, I just. I just put, want to put out there that, that it's not like a thing where I don't like him as a human being. Like, right, I'm right. like, man, like I'm trying to, I got something against him personally. That's not what it is. You diss me on, on, on record. I know you felt a certain way about something, so you diss me, so I had to say what I had to say. And then, you know, if you come at me, I'm going to fight to the end. That's, that's just what I do. On wax. On wax. That's what I mean. Yeah, on wax. Ain't gonna be no rap. fighting with you. No, 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 no fight. No, no physical love fight. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, it's no, I'm not talking about physical. I'm talking about MC. That's what, that's what, that's I don't what think I do. rock with you, though. Well, I mean, with that, that's up. I don't think you rock. I'm going to tell you the thing about, the best thing about hip hop is that it's up to the, the audience to decide. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, I feel, I'm, a, I'm a always feel, I feel like you put me in the ring with anybody, I'm talking about the mic, that I'm going I'm to destroy them. I don't care who it is. That's how I feel. But but at the end of the day, any MC should feel that way. Definitely. So then it's up to the crowd to decide. There's been times where I rhymed on the track and somebody got me, or, you know, they, they out rhyme me. Or I've been at live shows and somebody out rhyme me. So that's part of the, the gist, man. It's, you know, it's all fun. It's hip hop. Man. Let's go. All right, thanks, bro. Love, bro. All right. Hey, Drake, we waiting on something, man. We're listening.